Hi friends, I want to share with you today how to make a pass-through um, bunny pipe if you want to add an additional sprinkler. So say you have a sprinkler here and you want to put one here, but you want this one to still work as a sprinkler. This is how to do it. Ortho used to make a part that looked like this. It, it looked like that. So it had a pass-through, kind of looked like that. So you could sp screw this part into the sprinkling system this part would give you a sprinkler that would be functioning and then there would be this little uh, part that you could screw the funny pipe on or push the funny pipe on going off to your new sprinkler head over here and then you would just put this at the end uh, push that in and then you could screw your new sprinkler head on this one now there's half inch and three quarter inch and you need to know whether you need the threads on the inside the threads on the outside whether you need a half inch like this one or you need a three quarter inch so you want to lay this out before you go to the hardware store there are three different companies that make parts and they are not necessarily all interchangeable they have orbit uh toro toro and rainbird okay i like rainbird's short pipe they have a foam kind of a pipe with a green stripe along it and it's very stiff it doesn't bend like this one very well but it's very very good for short pieces that you want to um, attach together to make this little adapter that you will need to make if you want to do a pass through sprinkler head so you get the one that size that you need to come out of the sprinkler head that you want to add a line on so you've got your PVC underground here it's coming up and you figure out what one you need usually it's a uh, depending on your sprinkler system it's a half inch coming up so you can either use a straight one coming coming up if you are don't care you know you need to raise up the sprinkler head or you can use a, an elbow which is what I did because I didn't want to raise up the sprinkler head at all so before you attach any of the funny pipe or anything before I even cut it I cut off a little section of the rainbird for to attach these two two pieces but I don't attach the pieces until you screw this into the out for your PVC for your sprinkler. So you screw it in like this. You can see if you have this on it already or this on it, you'd have to dig a huge hole to, to twist it around and screw it in. And that is really frustrating. I've done that before. Then I had to cut this off, put a new piece in because it's hard to get a piece off and it was really frustrating. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is dig down to the PVC, find out which piece you need and get it and screw it on and then put it in whatever direction you want. So I usually use an elbow so that I could bring the pipe over and then put the sprinkler on at the same level so it's not raised up and gonna hit, get hit by the mower. So first thing you do, screw that in. Then I cut a piece of small rainbird foam type funny pipe and I push it onto there and I push it onto this. So now those two are attached. Then I decide um, if it's the right height for the sprinkler that I want to leave in that area then I cut another small piece of the rainbird with the green stripe um, kind of a foam um, funny pipe and I push this on but you got to make sure that you have the right piece at the elbow for your pipe so um, or for your sprinkler head so if you're going to use a larger sprinkler head, you probably want this threaded three-quarter. If you're going to use a smaller sprinkler head, you're going to want an elbow with a half inch um, so that you can screw on a smaller. The two and four inch are usually, uh, the, the pop-up sprinklers are usually half inch. Um, so you make sure you got the right part and push it on because it's really hard to take it off once you've got it on. So this one's attached. This one is now attached. This one is now attached. And you can put the sprinkler on that you want at that same place on that one. And that is now attached. And then you attach this longer flexible funny pipe. That way you don't have to dig down as deep um, onto that. And you run it across the yard to how much ever feet you need. They come in big coils. This comes in, in large coils. And so I use this flexible funny pipe when I'm going across a large area in the yard so that... Um, it's more flexible and I don't have to dig down as deep. So I usually dig down deep where the sprinkler is, kind of dig very shallow across the yard, and then I dig down deep where I want the new sprinkler head so that I can have the sprinkler head be flush with the grass. So then you get another elbow. So you're going to need probably three elbows unless you're going to go straight up and you don't need 
an elbow. But usually if you're going to keep the sprinkler head that you have there originally at the same level, you're going to want an elbow. So you're going to need three elbows. You need to make sure you know the size that you need, a half inch or three quarter, and you need to know what's coming out of your PVC, whether it's a, um, it's usually on mine, it, it just depends on your system, is a half inch. So I have a half inch, one of these, I thread it into the PVC, put it on there, put this on there, turn this one up, put the sprinkler head there, then run the funny pipe, and then I have another one of these right there. Now, you can turn it like this and have the sprinkler head coming up if it's deep enough. You can do that and have just a straight sprinkler, uh, a straight fixture going up, either three quarter or half inch as well. So you can have it laying at an angle like that or you can have it laying at an angle like that. So it just depends on what what sprinkler, how deep your PVC is um, and that way you can just stick this one on and then just stick a smaller sprinkler head on top of it if you have it that way. But just know that you can use it sideways that way or you can um, have this one coming out of the sprinkler and then this one coming up like this and then have one coming up on this side and then one running funny pipe and having one come up here. So just play with it before you stick any parts together because it's really hard to get it out once you do. And always, 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 first thing, screw this into your PVC coming out of your sprinkler line before you put any funny pipe on because you cannot spin the whole thing around. It's with it on. So just bring, screw that in first and then push the rest of the pieces on once you've got it dug and you know where you want the new sprinkler to be. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if you've got this funny pipe and you have a fixture that's too loose, like I had a problem three or four different times, I would put this in and I'd bury the sprinkler and then I'd have flooding. And what happens is this is not very secure. And if you have a, a pipe, they're supposed to be all interchangeable, but apparently the different companies don't fit as well. So if you have one that pushes off, I always test it before I bury it. So I turn the sprinkler on while it's unburied and make sure that this isn't gonna push off. And then once, um, once it's on, if it pushes off, then what you can do is you can put a clamp, one of those screw tighten clamps around it once this is in there. Just get one of those metal clamps and then clamp it down on top, on, through once this is in you're going to put that clamp on it and tighten it down so you want to put the clamp on first and then push this on so that you don't have to try and get it over that the clamp so put the little round clamp screw clamp on push this in slide the clamp back over and then clamp it down with where this is inside if that makes any sense because I've had that problem happen three or four different times with different fittings not fitting the funny pipe very well so um, that's why I use the Rainbird when I'm doing two short pieces together so that I don't have that problem. And so you might want to do the same. So if, you, if you're in a small town and you, you can't get all the same company's products, like I can't, I have to, some, some of them are Toro, some of them are um, Orbit, and some of them are Rainbird. So I buy the Rainbird green foam striped and do the short connections and then I use the, the flexible funny pipe for the larger connection. So just wanted to let you know that if you're having that problem, that's what it is. So feel free to check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. I'll post videos. Uh, I'll link the video there and take a few more detailed pictures and show it actually in the ground when I was putting it on. And um, check out my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude, on YouTube. And there's over there's about 900 videos. So check that out. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a very blessed day.